What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Root Industries YouTube channel. And today we're going to be doing something a little bit different to normal. We're going to be going over how I edit um, photos for the Root Industries Instagram account, as well as just photos in general for Root Industries. So I've had quite a fair few requests in the past asking me how I edit uh, my photos or the Root Industries photos, for example. Um, and I just went out and took some brand new photos I need to edit up and I thought why not take you guys through what exactly I do um, every single day to get these photos looking as fantastic as possible. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is open up and jump into Lightroom, which I already have open because I actually tried filming this video just before, got halfway through it, looked down at my uh, microphone and noticed I wasn't recording anything. So. We're right back at the start and we're gonna do it again. So we had jumped into Lightroom. I have nine photos I have previously imported uh, in which I want to edit today. Um, so let's quickly just go through them. Um, so we've got this one, 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 and that one. And so as you can tell, it's all of the exact same scooter. Um, but throughout shooting these photos of this scooter, there was a massive gust of wind um, and it just blew all of these awesome looking dead leaves um, across the field of view of the camera. And I really liked it, I really liked it. And I tried sitting out there and trying to get something a little bit better um, that wasn't really obstructing the view of the scooter so much as some of these um, photos are with the leaves. But turns out I didn't want to be windy anymore, so that didn't work. So what I'm gonna do is we're going to go through these photos and I'm going to pick out the ones that I really like the leaves themselves in. Um, so this one here, for example, I like the leaf down here in the foreground, um, same as this one, and then a couple of leaves here and there's some here in the background that I really like. And what we're going to do is we're going to chuck them into Photoshop, um, Photoshop them out, cut them out, and then put them into um, this photo here at the end um, and make them try to look as natural as possible like they flew through this shot in the first place. Um, and that's what we're gonna show you how to do today. So first things first is we're going to grab all the photos that we wanna use, which I'm gonna just, I'm pretty much gonna use these ones here. We're not gonna bother about the first and the last ones. Um, as said, I've already been through all of these and I figured out which ones I like because I've already filmed this. Um, so what we're gonna do once we, once we select all of these in Lightroom, we're gonna right click them um, and edit in Adobe Photoshop CC 2019. Alrighty, now they are opening up in Photoshop. All right, done. So first things first is we are going to go now and painstakingly yet again, cut out all of these um, leaves that I wanna use. So this one in particular, we're gonna grab the pen tool just down here. And I want to use this leaf here in the foreground, which is slightly blurry. Got that nice bokeh on it. And we're going to trace around it with the pen tool. Um, we don't have to be super precise at the moment. We can go through and do the fine tuning um, later on once we sort of um, mask this out and chuck it onto the photo we want to use it on. Bam, right click, make selection. We're going to want the feather radius actually. We'll keep it at two. Um, and then grab the move tool and then we're just going to move it to the last photo here which is the one that we're going to use. Um, for the final product. Um, we're gonna go to these other images, same thing here. I actually really like this one in the foreground as well. Um, so we're gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna cut this out. It doesn't have to be perfect. Same thing, make selection, drag it over. We've got that one there too. We're gonna move to the third image. This one I'm gonna grab a few more leaves out of. Um, I really like these ones at the front here. Same thing, just nice and Cutting it out. All right, let's move on to the next image. Um, I think it was this one. This one, I really like these ones in the background as well as this one here. So same thing. Another thing you wanna make sure you do just to make your life a little bit easier is you wanna place these sort of in the same location where you cut them out from in the first place. It's just gonna make it a little bit easier to blend them into the background of um, the other image and make them look as natural looking as possible. All right, I think that will do for now. So now we've got a bunch of random little cutout um, leaves and stuff, we're gonna go through and edit them individually. So I'm gonna just get rid of all of these, except for one, um, and we might as well leave that one where it is actually. It's quite nicely placed. Good job, Sean. Um, so what we're gonna go do now is, as I zoom in here, you'll notice we've got the blotchy sort of edges from the cutout we just did. Um, so we now have to go in and fine tune that. And there's two ways you can do it. Well, I'm sure there's more, but there's two ways I would generally do it. We can either go in with the pen tool again and just make sure it's a nice, um, 
Lena cut, or we can just use the eraser tool um, and just go around it tracing it that way. Um, since this photo is just for Instagram purposes, I'm probably just gonna use the eraser. It's a little bit faster. It's not as clean, but that doesn't matter because I said it's Instagram. whoop de doo So we're gonna grab the eraser tool, jump on the layer here, layer seven, um, and we're pretty much just gonna go out and get rid of those nasty blotched edges. All right, so let's zoom out and have a look what that looks like. Boom, that looks like it's supposed to be there. It's like it flew into the frame in this photo in the first place, but it didn't because Photoshop, that's why. So that looks good. So now we're gonna continue on down the line, uh, make this layer available to be seen again. So that's what I've done before. Um, I just hid all the other layers by clicking the little eye tool on the side of the layers here. So let's go with the next one. All right, so same thing. We're just gonna zoom in all the way in, grab the eraser tool again and just trace around it pretty much um, and get rid of as much as the blotchy edges as we can. Um, we'll go around and just get the main blotch in this first pass. Um, then we'll zoom in, make the eraser a little bit smaller and just fine tune it that little bit more. All right, so now there's a couple of notches that I need to get in nice and tight for and make that a little bit smaller. Let's bring it down some more. Seven, there we go. And we're just gonna jump in, do the exact same thing. So we're gonna continue on down the line, layer number five. Um, and this one was, yeah, it was around here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it is, because we've got a cut of the edge there, so that's where that one will go. Same thing. We're gonna go in and use the eraser tool and go around it. You sort of get the gist now. Um, so now, we're, we're gonna do the exact same thing with the rest of the layers, there's no point sitting down and watching them. If something happens in between, I'll let you know, but if not, we're just gonna cut to when I have finished um, cutting out all of these leaves, so let's do that. Alrighty, so we're back, and we have uh, a almost completed image, so as you can see now, we have a bunch of leaves around. I actually duplicated one of these leaves and chucked it up here as well, just for a little bit extra. Um, but let's go back, remove all of these layers so you can see what we started out with. So we started out with this image here, um, and we are left with this image here, which is just, you know, oh no, forgot to do one. Now, we need to color grade them. And to do that, we're gonna go back into Lightroom. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go File, Save As, and we're just gonna save it as the exact same document name um, and as a TIFF document. Um, so we're just gonna do that, click Save. Do you wanna replace it? Yes. Okay, okay. Alrighty, now that's saved, we're gonna jump back in the Lightroom and hopefully our image is, that was it there, wasn't it? Okay. Yeah, that's it there, it's there, it's in Lightroom. We're good to go. All right, so from here, now we're gonna go and do all the fun stuff, which I believe is the fun stuff, which is the color grading. So we're gonna go up here and click develop. Um, and from here, I have a bunch of presets that I have purchased over the times, over the, over the many months of using Photoshop and Lightroom, years actually. Um, and I, first thing I'll do is I'll go through all of these um, presets and just see if there's anyone that I sort of like uh, to start off with a base. Um, and then from there, I'll go in and fine tune it. So over here, I've got all my presets. So let's just go down, down the pack. See if there's any I like. Ooh, that's way too dark. Portrait. Mm. Oh, fall is nice. I like fall actually. Makes sense because of the leaves. Let's try fall out. All right, so we're gonna click on full as you can tell right now the image is very dark and that's not what we want and that's just because of the preset so from here we're gonna go in and really fine tune it um, so first thing I'll do is I'll bring up the exposure just to where somewhere I sort of like to start off with without clipping the highlights or anything let's start with that there all right um, one thing I really like to do is I like to bring my contrast down um, but then also drop my blacks so I'm gonna bring the contrast down to about there. Um, and then we're gonna bring the blacks down as well. Not too far. Just so it's, it's contrasty, but not at the same time. It's just, I don't even know. It's just, you know, I just play around with things. I find what I like and that's what I've done here. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, let's bring some of the highlights back up. Like that there. Um, the whites we can probably actually just leave as they are. Yep. Um, clarity, we'll bring that up a little bit. Um, and then maybe bring the temperature up a little bit. No, we'll leave the temperature as is. 
So looking at it now, the colors are, the gold is a bit too rose gold, but we want it to be more of a yellowy gold. So we're gonna grab um, the slider here. We're gonna bring it down to the HSL color. And here we're gonna go to yellow, or it might even be under orange. We'll try orange first. No, it's actually, it's under yellow. I can tell because the hue has already been changed because of the preset. So right here, we can actually change the colors of the yellows in the photo here. So we're gonna bring that to the middle where it is more natural looking and then we're gonna play around with it from there. So I really want, I don't want to um, move away from the natural colors of the Gold Rush deck. So I wanna try to get that back to what it looks like to the actual human eye um, in real life. So just play around with that a bit. I reckon that's looking good. That's looking good, that's looking natural. Um, now we're gonna jump into the oranges and that's gonna help us with these leaves a little bit. Um, as you can see, we can have them pink if we want, or we can have them green if we want, but we don't want that. We want them to look, again, as natural as possible. I'm gonna use this one as a base here um, and just try and get them to the color they are in real life. Gonna mess around with the hue, the saturation and luminance. Um, just get them to a spot that we like. All right, so next up we're gonna do is we're gonna straighten this image. Um, so to do that, we're gonna go up here to the crop overlay. Um, and then here we've got an angle tool. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna find um, a horizon line which should be straight to the naked eye, but obviously I took the photo on a bit of an angle, um, which is this one here, which is where the garage door ends. So we're just gonna draw a line from line, side to side and line it up with that, nice and straight. And that's gonna straighten our image out for us. Look at that, nice and straight now, good to go. Um, and that's looking good. I reckon we can bring the, actually no. Instead of bringing the exposure up, um, because the exposure on the bottom half of this image is actually nice, um, but the top part is, it's getting a little bit lost in all the black. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the gradient filter tool here. We're just gonna drag this down to about there. Um, and first thing I like to do is set all of these back to zero and then play around from there. So we'll bring the exposure up. We'll bring the shadows up a little bit actually too. Bring this down a bit more. Drop the exposure, bring the shadows up. Make it a little bit warmer. Yeah, that's looking much better now. Um, and we'll just play around with these a little bit. So the contrast and stuff should stay the same. Um, the clarity we could actually probably bring up a bit to pop those bars out. Um, and what we're mostly going to focus on here is the shadows and the exposure. See, I, I don't like bringing out the garage door and all the texture behind it as much as that. I sort of like to keep it a flat black. So we'll bring the shadows back down, put the exposure up. Shadows down. That looks a little bit better to me. So if you can't tell already, a lot of my editing process is just literally trial and error. I mess around with things. Like as much as I think I like to know, I'm, know a lot about these programs. I don't, I just mess around with it until something looks good like this. All right, I think I'm pretty happy with this. One more thing I will do is I'll just check the aspect. I really like to, because these do go on Instagram and on the feed they are going to be square. I like to just square this. So one by one and have a look what it would look like as a square photo. Ooh, for the purposes of this video, I'm happy with this. Um, if I was to really um, spend some time on this and play around a bit more, I'd probably move some leaves around just to make it, I don't know, all just sit a bit better. But again, just for the purposes of this video, we'll go with this. So I'm just gonna control Z, bring back the correct proportions. Alrighty, so I think I'm actually pretty damn happy with this image. I'll show you a before and after um, from the photo we started with to the one that we've ended up with. So. We'll go to the left here, or it's actually to the right, doesn't matter. To the right, that was the original image we started off with. And then back to the left, this is what we've ended up with. Obviously, it's a complete drastic difference. It doesn't look like the same image at all. Um, and it just really, it, it makes it pop out a lot more. Um, so you gotta just remember that as soon as you take a photo and you look at the camera, it doesn't always have to mean that's the exact photo you're gonna get. A lot of photos that we'll upload to the Root Industries Instagram account, or even my own personal photography Instagram account, they are, pretty heavily edited from the original photos. I wouldn't say they have heavily manipulated. Um, this is probably the most manipulated photo I've done for a long time for the Root Industries account. Obviously, we're not making the scooter look any different. Um, it's just making the photo itself look a bit more vibrant, pop a bit more. So that's it. Thank you for watching my first ever 
um, photography tutorial or photo editing tutorial. Um, let me know if you want me to do more of these in the future. I'm not sure how this one went. Um, obviously it was my first time doing such things, so I might have been sloppy this whole way through, but we'll soon find out. Alrighty guys, so as I was finishing up this video, my camera ended up dying, but thankfully we were at the end of the project, so this is just the outro now. Um, thank you for watching. Um, make sure you leave a comment down below if you enjoyed this, um, if you want to see more in the future, or any suggestions of any type of videos you want to see in the future. Um, make sure you leave a like, make sure you're subscribed, and following us on social media, which is at Root Industries. And then if you want to follow my personal photography account, um, that is captured by Sean. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching guys and we will see you in the next video. Cheers.